Okay, now we are going to look at the cubic context method. It's the third method of approximate estimations. We have been looking at the different methods of approximate estimations. We started with the functional unit method. We went to the flow area method. Uh, now we are on the cubic content method. Uh, in cubic content method, the more we continue looking at these methods, the more they become more accurate. Uh, we are just from the flow area method, which we have said that we usually consider the flow area to be built. Then we, con we, we compare it to another building, which we know the cost of a similar nature. Now, in the cubic content method, uh, the, due to the fact that buildings vary in terms of height, they vary in terms of unique, unique features, uh, like partitions, uh, the quantity surveyors came up to realize that the floor area method doesn't work so accurately in some buildings. For example, in churches where we have, or cinema halls, where we have very high pitched roofs, if we consider the floor area methods, they could not be so accurate because these roofs take a lot of space and a lot of money also. So they came up with the cubic content method. Here we compare the, the, the buildings by the volume. All right, just like the word comes, cubic content, we compare the volumes of the houses. Now, uh, the cubic content method, uh, it's commonly used to determine the cost of buildings such as the churches, the cinema halls, which has unique features uh, such as exemptionally great heights or few partitions. So, for the cubic content methods, uh, we usually use the external measurements. Remember the floor area method, we usually use the internal dimensions. But the cubic content method, we usually use the external dimensions. Now, this is an example of how you calculate using the cubic content method. You're told the external dimensions, external dimensions of a proposed church building are 20 by 8 meters. The height above the ground level uh -huh. to the top of the roof is 12 meters. From the ground level to the top of the roof is 12 meters. If it is anticipated that the depth of excavation to the top of the foundation concrete, depth of excavation to the top of the foundation concrete is 1 meter, determine the cost of the church given that the cubic content rate of similar buildings in the same locality is that 500 shillings and the headroom of the church is 4 meter. You realize that this in this sum we need to sketch. So we have to do a sketch. A sketch is like this one. So in the sketch we have to, we'll go back to the question. You saw that the proposed church is 20 by 8 meters. The height from the ground level to the top of the roof is 12 meters. So from the ground level uh -huh, to the top of the roof is 12 meters. Okay. If it is anticipated that the depth of excavation, once you excavate, for example, the strip footing, the depth of the excavation from bottom there to the ground level is 1 meter, determine the cost of the church, given that the cubic content rate of similar buildings in the same locality is that 500. So, we are told the headroom of the church is 4 meters. The headroom is from the ground level to the ceiling. It's 4 meters, where the roof starts. So, now you have the total height from the ground level to the top of the roof is 12 meters. Then the headroom from the ground level to the, to the roof where it starts is 4 meters. Then we have the excavated uh, depth is 1 meter. How do we calculate uh, the volume of this house? The volume of this house, we usually take length stems, wind stems, height, just like we calculate volumes. Then, how do we have the length and the wind, but we do not have the height. How do we calculate the height? The height, we shall take uh, 12 meters from the ground floor to the top of the roof. We deduct the headroom. Then we multiply by a half to get the half of the roof. You see, 12 minus 4, we shall get 8. 8 is from here to here, from the top of the roof to the start of the roof. It's 8. Right, so for the roof, we shall take half the roof. Half the roof, it's four. Then we add to the headroom, four. Then we add the foundation depth, which is one. It comes to 
9 meters. So we shall take the volume as 20 times 8 times 9. We get 1440 meter cubed. The cost of the charge will be the total volume, which is 1440. We multiply by that 500 because that 500 was the cubic. Uh -huh. you're, you're told, determine the cost of the charge given that the cubic content rate of the similar building in the same locality is that 500. So that 500 was the unit per meter cubed. So we shall take that 500 times 1440 and we shall come to 5,000 and 40,000. 5 million and 40,000. So I hope you have understood that method. It's called the cubic content method. We use the volume of the buildings to calculate. That was the, a very good example and I hope if it comes to in the exam, you'll be able to get it right. Okay.